Welcome to another My Two Good Hands video. We're out on the driveway working on the RV again. Hey, we got a hey, welcome back out on the driveway. We're next phase of winterizing your motor home. You got to get some of this pink antifreeze in your fresh water tank. Now, I'm using the minus 50. If you live somewhere where it's really cold, maybe you want to use the minus 100. Uh, make sure you got a clean funnel. I'm hoping this funnel will work. It looks like it might not, so uh, we're going to see. Nick going in. Oh, don't want to leak too much. Got to be careful. This stuff's pretty expensive these days. At this point, with two in, let's take it inside and see uh, see about running the water through the system. One thing to be sure of, if you have one of these outdoor uh, showers, you got to open it. You got to winterize that too or you will crack it. So we'll be back to do it. I'm going to open the door now and leave it open so I remember. Now we're inside the RV. We're going to turn our pump on. And we're going to open this on full hot. Hot all the way. Open it up. You can see you got water. Gonna wait till we see some pink. You can hear it grabbing that from the tank now. Looking for that pink. There's that pink color. Now we're gonna bring it to cold and do cold. There's the cold almost right away. Very short to the pump. Now we're okay. So we want to run the toilet. You get the pink, you see the pink there, you're good. Again, run these till you see the pink. You see we got pink there. That leaves us this one left to do. And there's our spigot and we're gonna turn the cold on. And there it is and we wait till we get the pink. So what you do with every one, you just wait till you see the pink. There's the pink, you see the pink in the floor. Same thing with the hot. Remember, it's going to purge the line. You're going to see pink. And then it's going to go back to pink again. There's your pink. Now, let's go outside and check out the uh, sprayer out there. So here we're going to turn on our cold and look at our water coming out down here. There it is. There's the pink. You can see the pink coming out of there. You can see the foam on the ground. Shut it off. Do the hot. Remember, you're going to get pink, then you're going to get clear again. You can see it go clear there. There's a pink again. You see you got pink on both of those. All right, let's go back inside. Get back inside. You can do a little cold, see your pink. Do a little hot, see your pink. And then I just go around like this till it's done. In the toilet, just flush it, get it going. Then here, you can hear our pump running and we're running out of water. So go around and open all your spigots, get the water out. There you go. And we'll wait for that pump to pull the tank as dry as we can. See, there you are. See what's happening? So you're pretty much getting that lines clear. We can close it, go see if the other one's spitting. They're still kind of coming out over here, water, no air yet. Air don't freeze, so you're best to have air in there. You can do a little bit here too. It'll continue to fill the, the lines with air. You gotta get an air through there. And you can see you're getting it there. This one's all but stopped. 
a uh, little bit of drippage, a little bit of drippage. Once you think you got one, you can close it and you'll get some more buildup. Let's see, getting all the air out. That's probably the lowest one. Go back out here, we'll turn this one on. And we'll turn the uh, water off, the water pump. The water pump is now off. Once your water pumps off, stuff will stop flushing. Let your water down here. We'll go outside, we'll open the other one. Let's talk water heater. You don't want to forget, put your cap back on. I don't, so if you do your city water connection, put a hose on here with a funnel or put the, the gallon and squeeze it because there is a check valve in there most likely. I never use it. Make sure your cap's back on. I opened my tank valve, nothing dripped out because we pumped it all with a water pump. So we're going to put this hose away and then we'll show you the water heater. So my water heater is an on-demand, so it lights and it's got a small chamber back there and we know we flush plenty of pink through it. If this had been a gallons water heater where it's six gallons, there would have been a plug down here. Take that plug out to drain it. Inside on the other side, there would have been a valve to stop the water from coming to it. You'd close that valve, open this one to drain it. And then what you'd do is you'd put your uh, hand over each spigot, open the cold and the hot, and let it back flush to here. Little different process. I don't have that one to show you. But uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. So don't forget to like and subscribe. This is the uh, Quantum Motor Home with the on-demand water heater. Two gallons got the job done. One bathroom, one kitchen sink. I'll leave these valves open for a few days to let the water settle out. The only last thing we're going to do is we're going to go pull the valves and drain those water tanks because we know we got water in the tanks and we don't want water in our valves. So we're going to go pull those, let that water out. Next thing, mouse proofing underneath. Stay tuned. We found these two houses right here. Uh, they're overflow drains, and uh, we don't want mice going up them. These mice seem to find their way into everywhere. So what we're going to do here, we cut a little piece of screen, uh, put a little piece of screen over this, like this. Pull it up. Might be able to put a tie wrap around it. So we're going to. Start our tie wrap. Put our piece of screen over here. Pull this up like this. And pull the tie wrap tight, and now we got a screen over it. Um, by doing this, we're stopping the mice from having the ability to uh, get into this part of the RV. And we got two of them to do, so we do the other one. We also went around and looked for places mice could get in, and we cocked everything up. Uh, we got one more spot to look at, and then uh, I think we're going to be done with the caulking, too. Uh, well, there's those. Those are uh, covered up now. Uh, mice can't get in. They probably wouldn't have found this, but you never know. So we got them done. Uh, we can go around the other side and uh, look at that bin and see if that needs caulking. So here we're looking at a storage bin. It looks like from the factory they already caulked that up. That's nice. That's caulked up well. Caulked up well. The other side of the motor home we had some issues and we uh, caulked those up uh, from the inside. So there you go. We are ready to go in the garage. There we go, we're done. Don't forget to subscribe to My Two Good Hands. Uh, go to our website, it's mytwogoodhands.com and that's M-Y-T-W-O-G-O-D-H-A-N-D-S.com. You'll find some nice merchandise there too and we're working on bringing you reviews of products that we see and we use from Amazon. So you'll see them all there. You'll also see them in our video links. Catch you next video.